Sess is going to create an awesome hypothesis, make Shasko create a brand new intro, takes 4 months to make the theory, uh, I, I mean hypothesis. Please don't sue me, MatPat. <laughs> Hello fellow humans, it is me, Johnny, the man who fears no man, except for Matt Pat's lawyer and four anime girls from the video game called Doki Doki Literature Club. Yes, <laughs> that's me. In today's episode of The Hypothesis, we're going to answer the not so frequently asked question, can Leafeon really exist in a world following our set of physics and laws of nature? And we will also be telling you if Leafeon is actually an animal or a plant. First of all, I want to introduce you to the Pokemon number 470, Leafeon, whose Pokedex entry states, quote, With a cell similar to those of plants, it performs photosynthesis inside its body to create pure air. And quote, It gets its nutrition from photosynthesis. It lives a quiet life deep in a forest where clean rivers flow. Now, I know many of you may be thinking that since Leafeon can do photosynthesis, it must be a plant. Well, that is not really the case. Photosynthesis is the process in which plants acquire their carbohydrates by synthesizing carbon dioxide and water using sunlight as an energy source. Most forms of photosynthesis release oxygen. Get it? They use sunlight to eat, for you simple spoken people out there. Photosynthesis is only one of the criteria that are required for an organism to be classified as a plant. But for it to be a plant, it needs to follow all the criteria, not only one of them. Those criteria are 1. Have the ability to photosynthesize 2. Have rectangular cells 3. Have cell walls 4. Have large vacuole that takes up majority of the space of the cell I believe that's how you pronounce vacuole Vacuole Vacuole? Anyways. 5. Have chloroplasts. And 6. The cells were produced by a process that splits the cell in half rather than pinching the singular cell into two identical cells. Lithia has one out of six criteria to be considered a plant. Already confirmed by the Pokedex itself. Now, looking at the shape and color of its tail, I would say it's safe to assume that Leafeon's cells are rectangular because they have a cell wall. When it comes to the vacuole, vacuole, god Jesus Christ, ah! When it comes to the vacuole, there is no way for us to tell just by looking at the organism since plant and animal cells have vacuole. The three main things that make a plant cell different from the animal cell is the chloroplast, which is required for the photosynthesis, the cell walls, which we already have here, and the size of the vacuole. And since lithium cells have the first two criteria, it's most likely having the third one as well. Now I'm not mad, Pat. Listen, if you if you don't agree with me, that's fine. You don't have to agree. If you think you can make a better hypothesis than me, then go on. Okay? I spent four months writing this script, so please give me a break. <clears throat> I'm sorry for the mental breakdown. Since Leafeon's cells have a cell wall and are structured by the same way as the one of a plant, it must use the same methods to duplicate itself as well. But that can't be possible. Not only does the Pokedex say that its cells are similar to the ones of a plant, proving that they can't be identical, another reason for why Leafeon can only have plant cells, despite it looking like an animal, like a fox or a dog, to be specific, I don't know, but it looks certainly like an animal. You can't tell me that thing looks like a plant, okay? Have you ever seen a plant in your life, man? A, a whammon? Or, or... Mammalian? An organism that was once an animal can never turn into a plant, and this is just a clean fact. And Leafeon was once an animal. You heard me right, Leafeon started off as an Eevee. That is right, people, Eevee, Pokemon number 133 whose Pokedex entry states, quote, Its genes are easily influenced by its surroundings. Even its face starts to look like that of its trainer. Now, this may or may not be possible. It's a topic for another video. But now, 
knowing that Lithian was once an animal, gives us a big clue to finish this hypothesis and finally go to sleep because I have school tomorrow and my life is so difficult. Subscribe and leave a like, please don't forget to do that. For Eevee to evolve into a Lithian, you need to train it close to a rock covered with moss. Lithian's cells have Eevee's ability to copy other cells and its DNA. Okay, listen closely here. Inside of our cells, we have the cell nucleus, which contains 23 pairs of chromosomes, with some exceptions, of course. If you zoom in on one of those chromosomes, you will find DNA, which is basically what tells our cells what to do and how to do it. The genes in our DNA is what defines everything from our eye color to our height. Your DNA tells your cells what type of cells they need to turn into, if they need to be skin cells or brain cells or whatever. However, there are some predetermined skin cells and stem cells well again that's another video apparently Lithium cells have the ability to mimic another DNA into its own which is why some part of Lithium have turned into plant cells such as its tail and ears while its torso still has animal cells that is why the Pokedex says that its cells are more plant-like because with that adaptive gene and its DNA, it will never have an ordinary cell. And this, my friends, is the coolest example I have ever seen of a semiotic relationship. A semiotic relationship is when two organisms coexist together for the benefits of them both. Even though Lithium's plants-like parts have his DNA, I would classify it as its own organism because of the differences between the plant parts and the animal parts and, and, and and this thing here being like multicellular beast, freaking mutant. Uh, so yeah. So is Lithium a plant? Yes and no. Okay, I hate to end a theory slash hypothesis video like that, but hey, I can't give you a yes or no because I I'm not. I, I, no, I can't do that. Listen. Apparently, Lithium is two organisms fused together, making it 50% animal and 50% plant. Could Lithium exist in the real world? In theory, it should be possible. There are already existing animals who do photosynthesis, such as the Eastern Emerald Alicia, a sludge that uses the genes from the algae they eat to do photosynthesis, and the spotted salamander, who has chlorophyll containing algae in their cells. So with this, my friends, I believe that I have concluded my theory. I mean, hypothesis. Because that's what we do here in Gamers Galaxy. Hypothesize. Thanks for watching. Remember to join the squad by joining our Discord server. Link in the description. I will also leave all my sources in the description so you don't try to hunt me down. Special thanks to everybody who helped me gather up information for this video. Especially Civiline. If you like the hypothesis, leave a like, subscribe and stuff, etc. etc. You know how it goes. See you later. Those criterias, those criterias are, those criterias, criterias, those criterias are, have the ability to photosynthesize. Those criterias, criteria, fan i helvete, jag hatar det i jävla livet, mitt fan. Most for, mm, where are I? Oh. If you have a different opinion than me, then I would love to see that in the comment section. Just please don't come on top of me being like, hey, this is incorrect because this is.